It's Friday. That means we got to talk some college football here on Sports Center. Game day headed to Clemson, South Carolina this weekend. They're already there, actually, ahead of the top 10 meeting between the Tigers and NC State. The unranked Wolfpack upset number nine Clemson in double overtime last year was in Raleigh. Now they try to do it on the road, and on the road is exactly where we find college game day's David Pollock. Hello, David. Now the show can begin because Pollock's here, and it is for Friday. Okay, let's, let's think back to last year for a quick second, right? Wolfpack pulled that one off. What do the Tigers need to do tomorrow to make sure that that does not happen again? Well, we, we've seen Clemson's offense, especially all last year's stage, they really, really struggled. So it's got to be DJ. It's got to be Shipley, Will Shipley, who they hand the ball off to a lot. Those two guys get in the running game going, and then that opens up, obviously, the passing. This is a really good NC State defense. DJ last week played the best game of his career. He's the best. That's the best I've seen him look. You could tell. He's starting to get it. He, I mean, I had questions about him. A lot of people had questions about him. He answered a lot of those questions a week ago. Now you get the game at home. One of the best cr crowds in the country at your back. Oh, yeah. The defense will have to play better. But I love this offense from Clemson last week especially. So we've got a 5 versus 10. And then we have a 2 versus 20, right? Alabama facing number 20, Arkansas. That one's on the road. What, are the, what challenges do the Razorbacks present the Crimson Tide? Well, we know what Arkansas is. Arkansas is physical. Sam Pittman likes them big boys up front. They like to run the football with Sanders. They like to run the football with Jefferson and take those body blows to you. But they got to find more passing game if they're going to beat Alabama. You are not going to line up. They didn't do that to them a year ago. Last year, Arkansas scored 35 points against Alabama. Traylon Burks, who was a number first-round draft pick a year ago, him and KJ Jefferson were on the same page. They made big plays. This year, they got to find that. They got to find whether it's Landers, whether it's Wright, whether it's Hazelwood, somebody has to step up on the outside and be able to win. They will not line up and just run the football against Alabama and have success. So that passing game with K.J. Jefferson is going to be huge. You know, Arkansas, you see that line at the bottom there, your screen, those of you at home, Arkansas lost 14 straight games against AP top two opponents. So, yes, as Nick Saban says, a very dangerous team. However, can they come up big when it counts the most against Alabama? David Pollock, thank you. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern time, college game day. See you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.